If you have conflict with a lady and you want to know how to resolve that conflict effectively, I'll give you a formula today that will help you do it. It's extraordinarily effective. 99.9% .9 of men will never learn that formula in their entire lives. And that's in part, obviously it goes deeper than that, but that's in part responsible for them losing dates, women losing interest in them and relationships breaking down. A client conversation half an hour ago and we were talking about some uh, conflicts that were going on in the relationship. By the way, babe, where are we going? I need the sat -nav, please. Okay. Thank you so much. To the right. Oh, okay. okay. Oops. And the, yeah, but what I was gonna do. So there's conflict right now. How are we gonna resolve that right now? You told me too late. Okay. If we were to have a real conflict right now, how would we resolve that? Well, so the client conversation that I was having earlier, there was a little bit of, uh, something rotten in the state of Denmark, something that had to be resolved. And in essence, what it truly came down to is the understanding that arguments are almost never logical. It's never about a factual disagreement that you feel emotional distance. But what it really is about, it's about emotional needs not being fulfilled. Do you have this enough? Thank you. I'm going to put that down here. And if you understand that a woman only ever needs two things from you as a man, then you can provide those things. One is value. In other words, she needs to feel like she can respect you. And the other one is comfort and reassurance and love. And a lot of the time, you need to be able to provide both. So let's say Fernanda and I would have had an argument about this. I went left and I should have gone right. I said, you told me too late, rah, rah. And now we're pissed off at each other for like half an hour. Obviously, we're not because we're madly in love and we're perfect for each other. No, no such thing as perfect. But... It doesn't happen with us because why would it? But let's say there's an argument and you want to resolve it. The worst thing you can do is to go into a mode of either accusing, attacking the other person or pulling back or apologizing for something that you didn't do wrong. These are all very valid strategies to either hurt your self-esteem or the other person's. So you don't want to apologize for something you didn't do wrong. And you also don't want to not communicate your needs. So what you should do instead is very simply use the following formula. It's comfort, 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 boundary. Comfort, 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 boundary. That is the essence of the formula. And it sounds extraordinarily simple, but trust me, if you apply this formula, and I'm going to give you a couple of very practical examples in a minute, your life will be so much better. Your conflicts will disappear so much faster. Relationships will be saved so much more. And so just understand that when you're having a conflict, most of the time, it's either that she doesn't respect you and you need to stand up for yourself as a man and you need to set a boundary and you can't keep chasing after her, or it is that you haven't loved her enough and she needs a degree of reassurance. That's why you have to give her both. So if we would have had a conflict of any sort, I would say, I love you so much. I really do. Look, like I love being with you. I love driving to the supermarket with you. I love doing Christmas shopping with you. I really do. You're the most important part of my life. Good pre-frame. And it's not just a technique. It's an honest expression and a reminder of why we're even in that relationship in the first place. That's one. And that would lead into, at the same time, when you tell me where to go and then you yell directions at me at the very last second when I'm already in the wrong lane, that's stressful to me because now I have to make a panicked decision. Not that I panic, but I have to make a very, very quick decision and I obviously can't go to the right because if I were to do that, I would endanger your life, my life, and Matteo's life. So obviously I can't do that. So, <clears throat> pardon me, next time is very important to me that when you tell me things, you have a lot of great ideas. It's just the timing sometimes is a tiny bit off. So just tell me beforehand. Now, I do assume responsibility that I should have asked for the sat nav sooner, but yeah, going forward, it's very important that you don't yell directions at me last minute. And obviously she didn't just do that. I'm just giving you an example of what could have happened. So going forward, because I do want to keep enjoying. I do want to keep enjoying the, because look, we're not really driving to the supermarket just for the water and for the chocolate. I mean, yes, obviously we're going there to get nutrition, but the real reason we're doing it is because we enjoy spending time together, singing songs, talking to each other. That's really ultimately what it is about because at some point we're gonna check out of this journey called life. There'll be nothing left. There won't be any logistical reasons anymore. 
in essence, what it really is about is connecting and having experiences. That's what it's truly about. And so I want to keep enjoying that. I want to keep loving you. But in order for me to be able to do that, I also need to feel safe. Does that sound fair? Cool. Now you talk about it. So you had a lot of comfort and reassurance and a boundary. Comfort, reassurance, boundary. The mistake that most men make is they either give not enough of either. They either don't have boundaries because they're afraid of losing her. What I did with my ex-wife, I was married to a woman who wasn't right for me. I was deeply afraid of losing her and therefore I didn't communicate my needs. I didn't stand up for myself. I said, yeah, feminism is a great idea, fantastic. And even though obviously we all agree that women should have all the rights in the world, the ideology thereof is a little bit the extreme ideology, obviously. But I wasn't able to say that because I was so afraid of losing her love. And I sometimes jokingly call myself a cuck or that I was a cuck or that I was a beta back then. But really what it was about, it was not, it was me not communicating my needs. And you don't ever want to be in a relationship where either the man or the woman can't communicate his or her needs. Because then one person becomes a slave, the other one becomes a tyrant. And nobody wants that. You want to have a relationship on eye level, but in order for you to be able to communicate your needs authentically and effectively and lovingly, you have to have a willingness to lose the other person. Really, truly so. Because whenever you set a boundary, that's an applied ultimatum. Now, mark my words right now. There's very few things you can never do. But one thing that I've learned from Tony Robbins that you can really never do is threaten the relationship. If we don't do this, then I'm going to break up. Like, don't ever do that. Never say this or I'm going to break up. Never. It's funny, we actually filmed the reel today. Uh, it's going to come out probably later to, tomorrow or so where Fernanda goes, Pink Floyd is better than Imagine Dragons. And I jokingly say, I'm going to break up with you. But it was obviously only for comedic purposes. Even though I felt a little awkward about it because you shouldn't really joke about that. Never ever threaten the relationship, I mean, at least in a serious manner. Right? When you joke about it, fair enough, you can joke about almost anything. But never seriously threaten the relationship. Ever. Never. Okay, now that the point's been made clear, every time you set a boundary, you implicitly threaten the relationship. Not because your intent is to threaten it, but you're standing up for yourself and you're saying, I am a being with a frame. I am a being with boundaries. I have needs. And you let it be known that if those needs can't be met going forward, or you can't meet her needs, then the relationship won't survive. Because remember, the only purpose of the relationship is you. The purpose of the relationship is to serve you and her, not you and her to serve the relationship. It's not just because, oh, we once committed to this relationship, now we have to stay in this hellhole forever, if that's what it's become. Obviously, you want to avoid it getting there in the first place, but that's important. So, going back full circle, the way you avoid all of that is, one, you got to create choice, because if you have choice, when you choose, that's what I have my clients with, right? Apply for a free initial consultation call. If you want help with that, sincerely, absolutely do so. If you want to help with, if you want help with finding the right woman, absolutely apply for a free initial consultation call. Done this with men now from 30 countries plus all around the world. Help them get a better dating life, find high quality male friends, absolutely. So you want choice, because if you have choice, if you choose her from a variety of different options, you really won't have that fear of loss quite as much. Am I afraid of losing Fernanda on one level? Of course, I don't want to lose her. But even though I know it would hurt, I knew I'd be okay. With my ex-wife, I didn't know that I'd be okay. There are so many men that can't communicate their needs, their boundaries, because they have a deep fear, even though they wouldn't call it fear, they have a deep fear of losing that person. It's a little bit crooked, maybe a little bit more like that. And so that's the first step. Then when you communicate your needs, don't be a dick about it. You can be absolutely kind about it. And you should give her a lot of reassurance because in the moment when you're communicating a boundary, which is an old implied threat to the relationship, there's a little bit of uncertainty and she'll feel fear. She won't call it fear, but she'll fe feel a lack of stability in that moment. That's why reassurance is absolutely critical in that moment. It's not a technique, it's not a tactic. You're not trying to manipulate her at all. And by the way, this applies to the dating process as much as to relationships. You wanna give reassurance when you set a boundary. So it's obviously just an imperfect mental model, but comfort, 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 boundary. Comfort, 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 boundary. That can be for anything. She does something you don't want to prove of, for example, I don't know. She looks at your phone. You can now lose your shit, which is obviously not okay. Or you can say, hey, look, I love you. And 
let's say this is in the early dating stages because I, I actually genuinely believe like Fernanda can have my phone whenever she wants to. She can look at almost anything. I don't think I really have anything to hide. She's like, show me. But like genuinely, if you have something to hide. No. Okay, here you go. Aha. Now you take it if you want. I'll give it to you later, not while I'm driving. Let me delete some Snapchat beforehand. No, I don't have Snapchat. If you have anything to hide, that's an issue. But in the early dating stages, your phone is obviously... Do we have the guards behind us? No, no, there's literally a guard van right there. Okay. Is that illegal what we're doing right now? No, I don't think so. Okay, so, fully focused. <laughs> Not afraid of the police at all. Let's drive away. Um, what was I saying? Okay, let me get in front of this fucking truck here. All right, very good. Perfect, yeah, I need to see there. Can't see shit. Okay, good. Don't drive too, too fast. No, yeah, yeah, not now, okay. I always stick to the speed limit, of course. So, <laughs> where were we? Um, comfort, 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 reassurance. So, if she were to grab your phone in the early dating stages, that's absolutely not okay if she looks at your phone. And then you can simply say, look, whether you say I love you or not, you say, hey, I really like you. I really enjoy spending time with you, and I can potentially see this going somewhere. Like you're an actually an amazing person and you have so many amazing qualities about you. I would really go that heavy with comfort because the boundary you're about to set is equally important. And then I would just say, I'm a little bit concerned about the police van that's there. Two seconds. All right. Um, they probably do. Two seconds, that'd be entertaining. So anyway, I would go really heavy on the reassurance in the beginning. Put your hands on the wheel. <laughs> Both hands on the wheel, yeah. That looks like a fake uh, Paris Eiffel Tower. I would go really heavy on the comfort component, but at the same time, I would also, two seconds, just want to make sure that we're not getting in trouble with the police right now. Ooh. This is how you get rid of the police. <laughs> Jokes. I love the police. I genuinely am a ba I'm genuinely a big fan of the police. I really am. I've had lots of martial arts instructors who were part of the German police force. I have huge respect for them. I'm a big fan of the police. But I'm also a little bit like when I see them. Because some of them are amazing, some of them not so much. Anyway, I would go really hard on comfort in the beginning because the boundary you're about to set can also hit emotionally and you don't want it to drive her away too much. So say, look, you're an awesome person. I really enjoy spending time with you, but that just isn't okay. You just can't touch my phone. That can't happen again. That's really not okay. Boom, like that. Most men can't even say that. You're not a dick. You're not an asshole. You're not disrespectful, but you say it with a griffin. Like that can never happen again. That's really not okay. Please don't ever do that again. Boom. In order for that to be digested better, the comfort is very important, okay? So the more you pay attention to comfort, 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 boundary, the better your life is gonna be. So what are the prerequisites for that? One, you have to have options, because if you don't have options, you can lie to yourself as much as you, as you want, you will always have a degree of fear. You'll always have a degree of scarcity, because abundance isn't just mental. As much as abundance is mental, it's also factual you need to live in objective reality you need to choose the right girlfriend wife from a variety of different options and if you don't do that you always have fear of loss so in order to overcome that options first then you got to make a decision you got to understand that setting boundaries is not against her you have to understand your own desire to want to avoid conflict but you have to consciously go against your desire to avoid conflict because stepping into constructive conflict by setting boundaries is a direct investment in the relationship. By not doing it, you're going to destroy the relationship. Conflict delayed is conflict multiplied, as Jordan Peterson says. Conflict delayed is conflict multiplied. So whenever you set a boundary, you are directly investing in the relationship if it's done in the appropriate way. So if you have the intent to love the person, to really care for her, then you also have to set the boundary because if you just go comfort, 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 and you let her get away with anything, she won't respect you. Because remember, she wants to be in her feminine. For her to be in her feminine, you need to be in your masculine. And setting a boundary and standing up for yourself 
and saying up until this point no further without a threat in a loving playful yet firm way if you don't do that she absolutely won't respect you but if you do the relationship has a fantastic chance to survive and this is not about being an alpha ultra uber duber tough guy but you better learn to stand up for yourself if you want my help with all of that personally if you want to help if you want help finding the right girlfriend life partner or wife apply for a free initial consultation call and yeah i think we'll make another video before christmas but if i don't speak to you before christmas we wish you a very very happy christmas merry christmas uh, or whatever tradition you happen to be celebrating and take care of yourself.